hello everyone a lot of query is coming in for taking online classes for video conferencing so we can do it using Microsoft Office 365 for the entire school free of cost using the Microsoft ID there are three steps in this so we will see one by one what are the three steps let us see step one open chrome in your browser you write down microsoft office 365 education free for entire school you will get several links come a little bit downwards and you will be able to see one link in Microsoft N hyphen in students Microsoft education click on that particular link you will get a page like this now come downwards here they will ask you enter your school email address don't do this you click on here in this link sign up your entire school so click on this link sign up your entire school now one page will be open here it is written get office 365 free for your entire school improve classroom and school collaboration with free productivity tools so you just need to get started for free of cost by clicking on this link you will be placed here after clicking on that link welcome let's get to know you so India is already selected let us take first name let me create it for my school so I am taking the name of our principal sir our school mail id business phone number company name organization size let me go for 1000 plus people let us check what will happen if we take like this next so you will have to enter username so let us take kv1 kpa at the rate your company let me take kajra para and let us check if yes it has taken this kv1 kpa at the rate kajra para dot on microsoft dot com so this is our uh, let me take a password India two zero two zero star
so now you have to agree to the terms and conditions given so by clicking on here you will agree and then create my account I'm saving the password uh, so okay I'm giving the phone number so that it will text me so I'm waiting for the message to come okay I've got the message Yes, I have got the message. I'm copying it, pasting. Prove you are not a robot. So let us prove that. Now okay so we are here save this info you will need it later just save your user id so let us take a screenshot of this so now we are ready to go